Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here back again. And today we are checking out some different things in Ark Survival Evolved. We're not on any particular server or anything like that. We are just on a test world that I have. We're going to be testing out the latest TLC dinos from the Spino, the Argentavis, the Sarco, the Parasaur, the Raptor, and the Triceratops. There's a lot of stuff to cover, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I want to cover is the Raptor. The really cool stuff about the Raptor this time around is not only did it get a lot of new features, but it got new uh, model updates, animation updates, texture updates, and new abilities, like I said. Uh, the biggest thing with them is the new feathers. I am in love with the feathers. Uh, let's go ahead and you can kind of check them out. They definitely look much more like feathers instead of like fins, I guess they look like before, but they are awesome. Uh, they have just the normal grab bite. They have a pounce attack. Uh, nothing on their CX or control. So let's kind of head out into the wilderness and see what we can find that we might be able to uh, to pounce on. Should be something around here. All right, so let's take a look. There's a Mesopithecus. Let's pounce on it. Yeah, all right, we got it. Ooh, that's actually really cool. So you just come up to something. Come on. Yeah, you kind of, you come up to it, you pounce. There's not like, a, not like the thylacolio where you get like a marker that you can kind of uh, go off of. You just kind of have the pounce um, happen when you're close to it. And one thing I've noticed is that with the, um, the actual jump, uh, your character, your, your raptor can like jump up onto ledges and stuff. With the pounce, it doesn't look like they actually gain any height off of that over like a normal jump. So like I can, I can walk up to this, right? And I could probably just jump on the top of it. Yeah. Uh, if I were to do that, uh, the character is still on the bottom. Like it doesn't actually gain any elevation or anything like that. And I wonder if you can pounce on something like a Dimorphodon. Nope. <laughs> the Dimorphodon was way too high in the air. Can you pounce on other raptors? Let's let's run over here and take a look. See if we can pounce on other raptors. Oh, you can pounce mid-air. Oh, oh, they pounced on me. Oh, that ain't good. They pounced on me. They've got me pinned to the ground. Where's my raptor? Come here, buddy. I'm in creative mode. Save me. All right. Next up in our list is the Triceratops. Now, to me, the Triceratops doesn't look a whole lot different. Uh, they do look like they have a little bit more refined legs, their, their stomach, and they just look a little bit more refined. A lot more texture on the actual scales and whatnot. Uh, but what you get out of the Triceratops is a lot of new functionality. Um, quite a bit of it at that. So we run around, we notice some different footstep noises. And so we have the normal kind of attack that we always run into. No C attack, no X attack, no control attack. But if I hold right click, he starts to do this charge. And you can see, much like the Gigas, or um, I think it's the Wooly Rhino, they get that kind of rage buff on the right-hand side of the screen. And once you let that go, he is charging. I am no longer holding forward until that rage meter runs out. He is charging, charging, charging. Uh, and what this does is... Um, it cripples a target when it gets hit and knocks small dinos away. Uh, charge groups of dodos to see is what it says. So we can charge a group of dodos and it'll kind of like knock them all back. But that's not all that it does. It also can break through structures. Uh, let's go ahead and try and hit this Carno here. Come on, buddy. We're coming right for you. Oh, yeah. 72. Look, it like dazed him and he's... He's now slowed, so that's pretty cool. All right, 
Uh, on top of that, he can break through structure. So I've kind of built up a little, a little deal over this way uh, to kind of test these out. I have thatch, wood, stone, and then over there I have metal and tech. So we're gonna test each one of these out. And I think the first one that I'm gonna do is gonna be the thatch. So let's go charging through some thatch. Yeah, that's pretty good. Charge through that thatch doing 13,000 damage to it. You tame an early trike, you're gonna be destroying thatch bases like none other. Let's go ahead and test the wood. Da -da -da. Oh yeah, right through the wood. Not quite as much damage, but it did just roll through that like it was nothing, like it was butter. All right, let's, uh, let's turn around here one more time. We're gonna try the stone. Okay, get charged up to the stone. No effect on stone. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, let's, uh, since there's no effect on stone, I don't think there's going to be effect on metal or tech, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Nope. No effects on metal or tech, but pretty awesome. Now there is a rivalry bra a buff, uh, excuse me, rivalry buff given to uh, the creature when it's large or near large carnivores. It increases the damage output, decreases the damage taken and increases the health by 10%. So uh, I guess we should probably try and find ourselves a T-Rex. All right, there is a T-Rex off in the distance, level 500. Let's go ahead and charge up and see if we can't go at this guy, boom. All right, now we've got damage boosts. We've got the rivalry boost. Let's see if we can't get charged up at him. Oh, every time he hits me, he knocks me out of that. But you can see that other trike over there has it as well. Uh, let me see if I can't boost that to get it out of the way and we can kind of take a look at it. Yeah, it just says rivalry. Now this is a level 500 guy so I might have made a mistake in taming one so big and not boosting my levels at all but I, you know what I think we might be winning to be honest with you I am knocking him back we're a reduction in damage taken increases my health by 10% it's not bad not bad at all come on come on Rex Get out of my way, you stupid tree. My guy is hurt. The Rex is hurt. Charge. Oh, the trike died. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm naked. And I died. <laughs> All right. Next up is the Parasaur. Now, the Parasaur itself uh, didn't get any, like, cosmetic changes from what I can tell. Uh, but it did get some sound tweaks and some new abilities. It has an alarm mode, it has a scare creatures mode, and it can scan mode. So it can scan for nearby threats, just like you see there. And that's pretty cool. I, I won't lie, that is pretty cool. You can also have it set to uh, change auto frighten in turret mode from behind, uh, or from disabled, uh, change alert mode, targeting uh, all, and enable turret mode. So you can put it in a, a turret mode. This thing is not going to move at all. It's got a cool little, I don't know what you would call that, like a, an effect on its head. And we can change it to uh, do players, uh, players and tames, creatures, or all. And it'll just kind of alert you uh, when something is around. So we can also, um, let's see change enabled change auto frighten in turret mode so if something comes up on it it could auto frighten stuff uh which is pretty cool so let's uh let's take our parasaur down let's see we have a pretty good bite the the bite radius seems to be much larger and uh, besides that we're good so let's let's take him down to the valley here uh, and see kind of what happens whenever you... Oh man, so many levels on this guy already. 
Just trying to boost him up a little bit so we can actually see what goes on. But yeah, let's get him down here. All right, so I see an Iguanodon over there in the corner. Yeah, it doesn't... It didn't show anything in that regard. Maybe that's only for... Um, let, let's take a look here. Uh, can we put... Scan? Scans for nearby threats. Uh, Parasaur has detected an enemy. So where is this enemy that we see? Oh, it's off in that direction. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can see the uh, the Dillos over there. All right, so let's go ahead and enable our turret mode. Detected an enemy. Okay, so and then it just screamed because it detected an enemy. All right. So next thing I want to do is I want to try this scare. I got 10 seconds left on it. I, uh, I messed up and used it already. But that's cool that it kind of shows them off in that direction. All right, let's try this scare. And now he's running. Look at him run. All right. That one's running. And I think the other one over here was running. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay. So the, the Parasaur just got really useful uh, early, not early game. I mean, I would say kind of all around for, you know, your tribes. If you're in a PvP situation, you're going to know that someone comes up around you. It's going to tell you up above your head. And yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I think that's going to change some of the alarm in, uh, in technical aspects of it because you have the tripwires and stuff, but tripwires upon server reset reset themselves and you have to relink them. So this is going to be another way to have that kind of alert system, uh, kind of like a Trudon, but uh, I think it could be pretty useful. Uh, I think they also increased the weight on the Parasaurs. So, yeah, makes them just a little bit more useful in the grand scheme of things. All right, next up is our buddy, the Sarko. Uh, it received a model update, animation update, texture updates, and some new abilities. It idles with its mouth open, which we can see. Uh, it has a death roll, a lunge, a 180 attack. You can actually walk on the back of these things now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you could use it as kind of like a makeshift raft. Um, and then you can lurk just below the surface. Piranhas flee when encountered a Sarko, um, including includes nearby all ally Sarkos for players. So it's got the spin attack. It's got a bite. And it looks like it's got that lunge. But I'm not entirely sure how that works. Uh, let's see, can spin in place to attack foes behind it. Is that, I, I'm assuming that's what it is. Cause I'm not seeing anything like that, but that lunge, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm holding at a C and it's showing. I wonder if I actually have to have a target to catch something like that. So let's roll down here as again. I love that spin attack though. I, that is really cool. Uh, let's let's come down here. I see a dodo just along the way. So let's go over here to this dodo. I love how fast they are on land now. They don't seem to be quite as slow. So that's pretty awesome. We're also gonna have to take this guy down to the water. I wonder what I'm doing wrong in regards to this. Oh! Okay, I get you, I get you. I let go of C and it does that attack. Cool, okay, all right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to do a death roll on something here. Uh, let's see if we can find one of those Dillos again. I think Sarkos are gonna be pretty awesome comparatively to what they were before. Let me see if I can get a Raptor. Raptors might be a little bit big. Let's see. There's a Dilo right there. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just spin him around and kill him. That's awesome. Okay, let's head on over to some water. So I will say this thing has some speed in the water now. Not bad. Did you see that attack that I just did on that Raptor? That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty awesome. 
All right. Uh, and so, yeah, he can swim on the water. I think we just saw a whole bunch of fish. The piranhas are not coming near, so that's cool. Um, swimming depth. Maintained its current depth when swimming. So I'm assuming that when you get off of it now, yeah, when you get off of it, it doesn't go bouncing up towards the top, which is pretty cool. And you could use it as a raft now, too, because it can uh, be on... You, people could walk on the back of it, and you can just kind of keep swimming along here with no problem. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we got some a couple more to go yet, so let's uh, head back and check out the Argentavis, the Spino. I think that's just all we got left, the Argentavis and the Spino. Yeah, let's do it. All right, next up is our Argentavis, and I got to say, these RGs nowadays look B.A. Excuse my language, but it just looks menacing. It just looks dangerous. It looks scary. And look at those feathers ruffle. It's awesome. So, yeah, they've got a new model, new animations, new textures, new abilities. Uh, they can do all kinds of stuff. It can uh, get regen when it consumes corpses. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the saddle acts as a mobile crafting station. Uh, maybe we should get an Argentavis saddle. Uh, yeah, let's grab an Argentava saddle to put on him. Yeah, looks like it's going to act just like a smithy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I will say that. Um, these guys can actually carry two creatures now. Uh, so before we saw them just carry one in their claws. Uh, now they can carry one in their claws and then they can carry one in their teeth. Or in their beak. So you can't pick up a big creature like that. But you, I'm carrying a raptor behind me. And let's see. I need something small. Maybe like this dillo up here. Let's see if we can't go and get this dillo. If I hit C. Ah, I'm stuck. But I got, I got one. I just killed them both. But yeah, so it looks like the C grabs and releases creatures with the beak. So you can kind of see that. It, the animations are kind of the same. And then the right click is what will do it with the claws. So they should be able to carry uh, a couple of different creatures here. Um, reduced weight of various resources up to 50%. So like obsidian, metal, metal ingots, polymer, and stone. Uh, so, yeah, that is downright awesome, if I do say so myself. I am getting a healing buff because I ate those corpses. You can see the particle effects on him. That's pretty cool, not going to lie. Uh, let's grab some stone. Let's take a look here. Uh, you got a whole bunch of stuff, didn't you? Uh, so 12, it's now 6. 36 is now 18. No reduction for flint. So, not bad. These RGs just got that much more useful. Even though we can't bump their movement speed, RGs just became flying beavers, basically, is uh, is what uh, what just happened. A mix of a flying beaver and an Anki and uh, just a Dota Curious, just an all-around better bird for flying and gathering and all that good stuff. So, I, I got to say that I, I'm kind of digging the new RG quite a bit. And uh, I'll show you guys their walking animation. You can see they kind of walk with uh, a stalking purpose, uh, going for their prey type situation. I think that's pretty awesome. All right, last but certainly not least is our buddy, the Spinosaurus. Uh, model update, I can't really tell a whole lot different with him. Um, he looks pretty... Pretty similar in my mind, but, you know, I haven't had a Spino in a good while. Animation updates, texture updates, and new abilities. Water buff, given when in water, bonus movement speed, bonus turning radius, bonus attack damage, bonus healing, persists for a short period after leaving water. Added a bipedal and quadrupedal um, 
uh, toggle with the right click. So it's kind of like the Iguanodon in that. Uh, the bipedal, the two attack, is the stronger attacks can turn in place. And the quadruped is the uh, faster movement speed. Prefers prime fish for taming. So, yeah, they no longer gallop almost like happy little puppy dogs. I'm a little sad on that one. I am a little sad that they no longer do that, but this guy is moving fairly quick. Uh, and I kind of do want to test some of the difference in attacks. So 341, if I go to quadruped, it's 512. That's pretty awesome. Can, can turn in place. So yeah, I'm not uh, not pressing forward or anything. He can kind of turn if I... Yeah, he can't turn at all when on all four. So that's not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and work our way over to some water to test out how good he is with that. So I just realized as well that this attack is with the front claws, not even with his teeth. Oh, and he's got a roar? That's pretty cool. All right, dig that. And then this attack is with his teeth. Um, let's see if the water, yeah, there's the water buff. So he doesn't need to be swimming. He can just be in the water. Come on over here, Mr. T-Rex. Let's wreck all of you guys. Dude, that is pretty awesome. Uh, it picked up a ton of stuff. Uh, I got some pretty ridiculous rates on this, but. Bonus movement speed, so he, he was moving a little quicker through the water here, which is awesome. Your dino speed, health, regeneration, and damage are all boosted. Hydrated is the name of the buff. Let's see, uh, turning radius. I mean, he's not bad turning radius in, in the water. Got some raw fish meat. Let's, uh, let's take him into some deep water and see how he does with that. I kind of want to attack this T-Rex before that. Die! Level 1 T-Rex. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to some deep water. So I will say, as I miss their gallop, this whole, like, wavy motion, because these guys are so big, they have this kind of different weight distribution to them. I'm kind of digging it. I think that is really, really cool. Some boosted damage. So I don't think there's a way for this guy to attack with those front claws when in the water. Let's see. I put him up on the front too. And then when he goes in the water, yeah, he's still attacking with that, uh, that front motion. So not bad. We can boost his oxygen. Let's see if this kind of makes his oxygen, uh, his swim speed, like, ridiculous. It does. It, it helps it a lot. So that's good. I don't know why I'm not getting... Oh, there's the hydrated... Bu 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 the hydrated buff. I don't know why I'm stuttering. <laughs> I guess it's because I might be tired or something, but... All right. So, yeah, there's the Spino. What do you guys think of this new TLC update? I'm for one. I am a little upset about a few things. I'm excited about some other things. Uh, but I think all around, it's pretty awesome. I think there's a lot to it. Uh, that is just really cool and uh, I can't wait to see what they kind of start working on next with some of these other creatures Because there is a lot that they could do. I mean a lot a lot. So all right guys Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video